keep in mind the focus of the dog and the handler. Very important. You need to mimic that. You need to achieve that in reality. And, and it's not difficult. If you understood all what I said, it's not difficult. So observe not what is asked of the dog and what the dog performs, but what is done as a countermeasure when the dog does not do or does something out of the out of what is required. Basically, put yourself in the dog in the handler situation, the handler shoes, and you will know. So when you drop her, put her down and a stay. You can't just say stay as in uh, English speech. You put her on a down and a stay. When she doesn't stay, she cannot budge. She can wiggle about and get us a comfortable and be, uh, you know, drop down correctly or comfortably rather. But she cannot get up or move or run or whatever. And you cannot recall the dog when she's on a stay. You have to physically go to the dog, do a top line rub, uh, good good trigger, good stay. Netang appe kakdal ganu pulo. Physically gihila ganu ani. Weight is a shorter duration, a momentary holding position. So from a weight, you can recall the dog. The weight can be applied, for example, when you uh, take her near your car, put on a sit and a weight, which is a chop in front of the eyes. I'll show you again. And you open the car, you move the stuff around. She's going to be in the back seat. You put her blanket, move your laptop aside, and then hop. You touch the seat and say hop. She hops in, right? And then ask her to wait there, go around and start driving. In those situations, you can or sit, wait, and then open the gate, and then you step out of the gate, look left and right, everything is okay, call the dog. Next. You can use it for Next. things like that. Next. 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 So you notice that it's going away. So, if you reset it, then you can use it. Next, you can use it. See? 